I just dragged out the John Deere. Uh, it looks like um, it's getting pretty dusty. It's been stored for a while and uh, last year I didn't use it at all because we never got enough snow to even uh, bother uh, with a bigger snow blower. I think we only got an inch. Uh, it was inch and a half maybe the biggest snow last year and it warmed up the next day so I didn't really use it. So this year I'm going to just uh, change the oil and I'm going to drop the, uh, the back end back, take it apart and you can see the the belt cover I made it held up pretty good it's still in pretty decent shape uh, I think this is like uh, three or four years after the fact after I put this thing together so it, it held up pretty good I never got a chance to paint the shoe uh, still red still has the uh, Aaron's orange color on it so anyway I'm gonna get started on this and I'll be taking it outside we're starting to get snow right now so I'm gonna take the camera outside so you guys can see it all right, this is what it's starting to look like outside. Uh, uh, we're starting to get a little weather action. Um, day after Christmas here, it's a, the 26th, uh, 2012, and uh, up here in Michigan, and I'll zoom in. Uh, they say possible six inches now overnight, and uh, possibly a foot by Sunday. So we'll just we'll play it out, see how it goes, and. We'll see what happens. Well, I just got it open, and um, that's what it looks like after about four years of uh, heavy use. Um, so anyway, it's uh, the belt kind of, a couple belts I've already replaced right away, and it kind of shredded up. I had all that cleaned out before, so I'll just clean it back up. Um, I'm not sure what this belt is. I'm going to take it off, and we'll check it out. Um, you can see the limiters are all still there that hold the belt on to keep it from falling down that I welded on uh, four years ago. They're all still in place and I remodified the brake and that's still holding up. It didn't, it didn't really wear out or anything like that. So everything looks pretty good. Um, the only thing that I know is bad that I'm having problems with is uh, the friction disc underneath. That seemed to fall apart right away and mostly because that was old stock. Well, this is the new belt. I just got it on. I've got to uh, press these limiters back down so they're a little bit tighter going around that I welded on years ago. Um, anyway, that's the... It doesn't really matter if you're doing the stock one, uh, the belt numbers on this because this one does have a larger uh, pulley on the motor. Uh, it's about a... I think it's like a an inch and a half larger in diameter um, so I do have uh, the original belt size on one of the older episodes for um, the 1032 when I was modifying this it's in one of the on the comment page but I don't remember which one it is but anyway I'm gonna get this thing fastened back up and I'll be probably most likely using it in the morning and we'll see how it works out
just gonna go outside and take a quick measurement now that I'm done so we'll see what it what it is I'm not really sure what the how deep it is just I'll go over with the sunlight's lighting it up so it'll show the the tape measure. Okay, it's not that bad. Uh, I thought it was deeper. It's only about, looks like seven and a half inches. So, I'll zoom in on the top. <clears throat> 